All right, Anthony is here. Yes. We've been talking about the fog. Uh, uh -huh. You know, from up in from our higher uh, place cameras, it looks yeah. really bad. But down on the ground, yeah. it seems to be getting better. Exactly. Things are improving in the, uh, I guess, the lower levels of the atmosphere. There, there's a little bit of drier air. So things okay. are trying to improve, but we're still tracking some dense fog for this evening, although it's not going to be as severe as the past couple of evenings. We're going to be tracking some heavy rainfall and also some cooler temperatures as we conclude your work week. So it's been up and down, unfortunately, the mild temperatures. That little taste of spring, ugh, that's going to be coming to a conclusion as we head throughout the next 24 hours. So things are always changing across Northeast Ohio. Here's a live look. Around town, across the area, we're looking at some dense fog, and also from Cleveland, things are not that bad. From Westlake, still looking at some pretty bad conditions with visibility less than a half a mile. Same thing down in uh, Strongsville. So again, this is our third day of dealing with this. Just, again, be smart, have the low beams ready to go, and just get to your place and uh, destination safely before the heavy rainfall arrives as we head beyond uh, six and seven o'clock for this evening. So again, live look across town. We're looking a little bit of drizzle out there, but again, temperatures are still pretty mild when it comes to the overall conditions because we're tracking a stalled out front that will continue to push down to the south or so as we get closer to the next few hours or so. So here it is on the map right now. We're tracking a uh, front that's pretty much draped across the Buckeye State, and we have this swath of moisture that's going to be working its way up to the north. And again, we're going to be tracking some heavier rounds of rainfall. So the mild temperatures, yeah, they're here to stay, but off to the north and west. Cooler temperatures, they're going to be marching in our direction. So late January temperatures into early February is going to feel like that for the final weekend. Things are quiet on the radar, although we're tracking some pockets of drizzle. Here's the rain arriving as we get close around 7 and 8 o'clock, which your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast heavy rainfall with temperatures again on the mild side. We're going to start off your Friday morning in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Then temperatures will, will continue to free fall into the mid to lower 40s throughout the morning, right into the early afternoon. Now, how much rainfall we're talking about? It's not going to be a long standing flash flooding event, but a heavy soak in the rain. Nevertheless, most locations you're getting a half an inch upwards to an inch of some heavy rain throughout the overnight. We're clearing out by the time you're waking up with mostly cloudy skies, but again, temperatures in the free fall, mid 40s, not the most dramatic switch up when it comes to these temperatures, but lower 40s, you're going to feel a slight breeze. It's going to feel more in the mid 30s, which you factor in the north winds for tomorrow. For your Saturday, we're tracking mostly cloudy skies, mainly quiet for the first part of your weekend. Then late Saturday into early Sunday, we're talking about more rain and snow chances. Now with this next storm system, I don't think a lot of cold air is going to be moving in behind this low pressure system as it tracks off to the south and east. But enough cold air and enough moisture could be hanging around across northeast Ohio. We could see some rain mixing in with snow, mainly on Sunday. Monday, we're talking about lake effect, maybe a little bit of rain and snow because of the temperature still up, uh, getting close to that freezing market, just slightly above that. Then Tuesday, a clipper system will be arriving here, giving us another soaking rain, maybe a little bit of wet snow for Tuesday of next week. Now, GFS computer model throughout the next seven days has a solution of uh, some heavier rounds of snow throughout the next seven days, primarily to the west of us, but the lake effect could produce upwards to maybe upwards to four to five inches. Our European computer model is not as aggressive throughout the next seven days. So snow chances overall, does not seem all that impressive for next week as we conclude the final seven days of January. For Junior Home Mortgage 7 day forecasts, rain and snow mix again for Sunday, then more lake effects scattered for Monday, then temperatures remaining, remaining pretty seasonable for Tuesday and Wednesday, mid to upper 30s, possibly more wet snow to talk about for next week. Sounds good. Anthony, thank you very much. Appreciate it.